Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we try to do things differently. However, it has been raining. It's been raining in New Zealand a lot. You may have seen it in the news. Um, we got hit pretty bad in the North Island by uh, a cyclone, Gabriel. And um, we actually got off uh, fairly lightly here. Uh, our uh, water supply was briefly interrupted. We we had some power cuts. We discovered the old generators buggered, so we got a shiny new one. Um, and there haven't been a lot of Geeko Farm updates for a while. That's uh, uh, that sort of started off with a barley thing. Um, we had a uh, cotton spinning machine that Tamara made at barley, uh, and I wanted to reshoot bits of it so that we could show you it working but unfortunately that suffered some damage um, so now uh, the blockage is cleared and I'm going to start doing Kiko farms again so uh, what we'll do is we will wrap up with the barley footage and um, start all over again Hold on. Yeah. Uh, the Creative Commons robot yeah. and this is nothing, this has not, has nothing. Yeah. 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 So what these guys are mucking around with, they have a 3D printer uh, and a compressor down there, right? Okay, that uh, container is pressurized and contains the paste that's going to be extruded. Um, over here uh, is a screw that extrudes out of a nozzle, I think two or three millimeter coming out there. And that stuff that uh, looks like mashed potato is um, a mixture of uh, milk casing, which we've extracted using um, vinegar and uh, a sieve. You can see the remains back there. So this okay. is the most annoying part. Uh, and yeah, uh, we do actually prototype um, with mashed potato. So yeah. There you have it. Yeah. <coughs> and that's what it looks like. Towards the end of the print, that was starting to wobble a little spectacularly, but um, good job, guys. Here's the model. Well done. Real fish. Are you sure I haven't made a snake? <laughs> well, uh... So this is Ada, and one day she will meet her goal of pen. pen. We all need a goal. Using a motor driver as well as voltage regulators and an external power supply like batteries. We were also integrating the hardware and the design, so you can't see the electronics right now because it's covered in the design. Oh yes. But it's inside, so it's an integration. Okay, filming. <laughs> Alright. Durian. Yep. Um, it's soft, it's creamy. Um, 
but when you stick it right up to your nose, you think you're about to eat a garlic bowl. It is really, really powerful. But um, after the first bite, the, the, the taste is quite sweet. So, yeah. Have you ever had one of those um, strange gourmet um, ice creams? Where they make ice creams that are strange flavors? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, there's a big stone, there's a big stone in it. Uh, so, they make ice cream with like um, blue cheese or something in it. Yeah. Here we are, going out for a bit of sightseeing in Bali. Driving along with, um, yeah, lots of scooters and stuff. A lot of, uh, there's a uh, religious event and lots of decorations around. That there is a civet, aren't you? And this is the swing. Which I am not going on. This one, we will peeling until we get inside like this one, sir. This is penal, penal risal, yeah? And after this, we roasting in the- well, I've eaten too many coffee beans. Put you to work, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, hard work. And you're the tourist to do the work. <laughs> Here we go. Hell of a way to make coffee. You know what's happening next, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Right. So, cheers. Mm. By the way, this is just barley coffee, not product of civet. So where are we going? Down. Down into a temple. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yep, and we, we have to wear these um, sashes or a sarong. Yeah, yep. appropriately dressed. Yep. Yep. And uh, yeah. And here we are at the, the elephant cave. I presume this is it. And in we go. It's gold today because it's a day of wealth. A day of wealth, alright. This is like from one particular family. There's a lot of incense. This is kind of surreal. Uh, there's a Buddhist temple down the bottom. And of course, um, we've chosen to visit on a um, some kind of holy day. I think it's the first day of Diwali or something. There are all these uh, old walkways and stuff around the temple, and it's it's quite a big thing. And um, hmm, I'm trying to figure my way out. Here we are doing the touristy thing at the rice paddy. Uh, what are we having? We're having uh, crisp, crispy duck. And over in that side? Chicken satay. Chicken satay. Um, I'm having um, sort of local noodles mixed with everything. And um, yes, we'll, we'll enjoy that. Oh, and a large beer. Uh, we'll enjoy that. Um, you enjoy the view. Actual koi in a rice pond. And uh, we're just heading into a thunderstorm cipher. This is sufficiently waterproof under here. When in doubt, choose the food with fire. Our time in Bali has come to an end. Uh, just time to uh, sit here at the beach, take in one more Bali sunset and um, then
getting off to the airport. Oh dear, oh dear. It's your fault for drinking Arak. Yeah, okay, too much Arak last night. Um, however, I think for now... That's, that's your lot. Down on Geeko Farm. Oh,